Local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Your health is the most important thing to you. When you need physical therapy, find the best clinic to serve you. Movement Physiotherapy, now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, understands this and wants to help ease the stress. Tyler Gasick has over 10 years of experience helping people improve their health with physical therapy and is ready to help you. Tyler's from the Uniontown area and is committed to helping improve his community. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Brian Rozak and Tony Hanilla back here at Laurel Highlands High School. Just about set to go. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders Mustangs. And their home whites, blue numbers, red trim. Their bench off to our left. Uniontown and the away maroons, white numbers. Their bench off to our right as they play the Laurel Highlands alma mater. I have to say hello to our buddy Ed Wolinski from Sandy Howe Notary Services. They're open until 8.30 tonight. If you have any <laughs> last-minute notary needs you need done here on a Tuesday night. I think a lot of folks certainly focused on this game in front of us, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders. Yeah, I think Ed might be a little quiet here tonight for sure. <laughs> I've got a feeling not, not a whole lot of activity going on in town outside of the bars. So what do you expect to see here tonight, Tom? I expect, I expect to see Uniontown come out, press a lot, try to run a lot. As we said, they're the leading scoring team in the WPI with 79 points a game. And I think you're probably going to see Maybe a little bit of zone against you need to, I'm sorry, against Laurel Highlands because I think uh, Coach Kizmarski is going to try to make him beat him from the outside, try to make some threes, uh, make him set up a little uh, half-court offense and try to do something there. But uh, as I said, I think Unitown needs to make some threes, and I think Laurel Highlands is going to have to figure out how to break the zone if Robbie plays that. But i got a feeling that way, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, the Mustangs without Antoine Black tonight. You can see him down there in street clothes. Great defender, great rebounder. How's that going to impact the game? Well, I think it's a big loss for him. I mean, we said that even uh, last week when he got injured in that Bell Vernon game. And the point of it is, he doesn't score a lot, but we, you know, we know he can play great defense, and uh, that's an integral part on this Laurel Highlands team. And, and the other thing too is it it shortens the bench for Coach Auger. I mean, really, he only plays about, eh, probably about eight or nine guys at the most, and that kind of shortens it for him as well. And if you're just joining us, starters for Laurel Highlands: Keandre De Shields, Rodney Gallagher, Mason Bullish, Blaze Krisner. And Patrick Cavanaugh tonight for Uniontown Notorious Grooms. Calvin Winfrey, Kadrian McLee, Bakari Wallace, and Jameer Braxton. Red Raiders, they won 12 in a row. Just the one loss against Norwin. Of course, Laurel Highlands, their only setback came up at the CCBC Dome when they fell against Lincoln Park, who at the time was the number one team in 4A. Well, and, and Lincoln Park was loaded, and it was one of those games where Keandre got into foul trouble, and it really changed the game. And as we said, Rod had to kind of take it over by himself, but... Uh, Really, the Mustangs were in the game really till the last couple of minutes of it, so good showing against the now current number one team in Lincoln Park. And I think you mentioned earlier, but worth mentioning again, very important for Laurel Highlands to stay out of foul trouble tonight, especially Keandre and Rodney, because they don't have the depth that Uniontown has. I would agree. I mean, if, you, if one of those guys gets in foul trouble tonight, it could be a long night for the Mustangs. They're introducing the Mustang starting lineup right now. Red Raiders have already been introduced. Uniontown's starting five huddling off to our right. Now they introduce Rodney Gallagher, and he'll run onto the court as well. And we'll get this Section 3 4A matchup underway. As we wrap up the first half of the section season, these two schools will meet again in February over at A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium at Uniontown High School. So much history between these two programs again meeting for the 117th time tonight. Uniontown leading the all-time series 67 to 49. Mustangs swept the season series last year. They won three straight against the Red Raiders. We'll see what happens tonight as you have Kadrian McLean in the center circle for Uniontown. Keandre to Shields for Laurel Highlands. Mike Gaffney will step in and here we go. Uniontown and Laurel Highlands. And the opening tap controlled there by the Mustangs as Mason Bullish pulls it back to Rodney Gallagher. They're high on the left, picked up by Bakari Wallace. Kavanaugh to set the screen. Rodney trying to penetrate a little poke away. Rodney regains, trying to float one up and McLean the block. Ball comes loose, edge of the zone, and scooped up there by Calvin Winfrey. Off to Notorious Grooms. Three from the near wing, out the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, tapped around, still loose, and finally controlled by McLee again. Resetting to Braxton. Did he walk? Yes, he did. Travel call there on Union Town. Mustangs get it back. Yeah, they didn't give him credit for the Euro step there. I'm not, not so sure he really walked, but he got called for the walk. Now you're going to see full court pressure by the Red Raiders. Usually it doesn't phase the Mustangs much. Here's Krisner at midcourt, and he traveled. They got him there. 
Yeah, good defense there by Grooms to step right up, make Krisner pick up his dribble and shuffle his feet. So turnovers back-to-back -back by both teams and maybe a little bit of anxiety here. <laughs> We've got a big crowd, and these guys know what a big game it is as well. Red Raiders with the basketball, working right to left as we describe it. Grooms on the far side, back to Winfrey. High on the right, Krisner defending, Winfrey driving. Coming inside, the ball was knocked away, no foul called. Into the hands of Keandre to Shields. Keandre back across. Keandre with contact and a charge call there on Keandre. Bakari Wallace taking the charge. Yeah, and Bakari Wallace just doing what he does. Always liked his game. He hustles well. He plays well. He's everywhere on the floor. And right there, willing to take that charge from the big fella to Shields. So the first foul goes against Keandre. Bakari was our player of the game. Brought to you by Fayette County Commissioner Vince Facides in the Red Raiders' last game against Elizabeth Forward. Braxton for three up top. No good. Kavanaugh had the rebound. A little poke. And then he was trying to send it up to Rod. And it's Orius Grooms with a steal. A lot of speed on this Uniontown side. Braxton driving and scoring with a little floater left of the lane. Opening two points of the game. Jameer Braxton and Uniontown strike first and a turnover. Picked off by Bakari Wallace. He'll drive back. Scoop shot no good. Loose underneath. Foul called here on Uniontown. Yeah, I think you're going to have an over-to-back call on Jameer Braxton. Braxton did get called for that foul. And really the Mustangs are going to have to be careful with this pass. As right now, a couple passes that were a little... Not sharp at all and end up to two, two turnovers. Red Raiders in the 2-2-1, two, two, tapped across. Krisner was in a carry, actually rolled it off to Keandre, but Uniontown speed has been impressive here in the opening 90 seconds. Keandre left in the lane, handing off Kavanaugh, needs to go strong and does so for the Mustangs' first two points of the game, Patrick Kavanaugh. Well, and we've seen this in games over the past couple of weeks. Keandre, you know, throws a lot of good passes, but the Mustangs have to be ready for it. Kavanaugh right there, lucky to catch the pass and make the layup. Wallace from the far wing and in, no good. And Kavanaugh able to pull away the rebound. Off to Krisner and up to Keandre. Across here on the near side, picked up by Braxton. Keandre here on the near wing. Kavanaugh setting the screen. He'll take the three. It's on the way. In and out. High rebound. Brought down by McLean in traffic. Back to Kelvin Winfrey. Touched up to Notorious Grooms. Defended there by Krisner. Little touch from Bakari. Back to Grooms as he resets here high on the right. Notorious Groom still directing traffic with Krisner in his face. Groom's working to his left, switches back here with Calvin Winfrey. Spins inside, off balance shot, no good, and Keandre another rebound. Keandre grabs the rebound without leaving the floor. Here's Rodney for three up top on the way again in and out. A bit strong there off the back iron. Jameer Braxton the rebound running back across. Off to Groom stolen by Gallagher. Here's Rodney racing back for the quick two. First two of the game for Rodney Gallagher. He now has 1,659 career points and the Mustangs a 4-2 lead over Uniontown here at the 5-17 mark of the first. Yeah, a little sloppy so far here by both teams. Passing not crisp at all. Here's Wallace driving. Threw it up over the shoulder. Didn't drop. Foul caught off the rebound. They get McLee there for over the back. They're going to call McLee for a push. Kind of push Kavanaugh a little bit in the back as he went up for that rebound. So McLee, he's going to pick up his first. That's a team second in this first quarter. As you mentioned, a little sloppy on both sides. Laurel Highlands a 4-2 lead over Uniontown. 5.08 left here in the first. Sent into Krisner. Back to Rodney in the backcourt. Red Raiders still in their 2-2-1. Two, two, Krisner with the ball being kicked there by Jameer Braxton. We'll stay with Laurel Highlands as they'll trigger it in here in front of the scorer's table. Well, and I'm sure Coach Hogger practiced this press. He knows that it's Uniontown's trademark, and he knew it was going to see it here tonight. So he's ready for this as he sets Krisner up in the middle to try to get that pass and dish it off. And I'm sure he's seen a lot of it over the years as well. Again, both Coach Hogger and Coach Kesmarski have been around the block as Rodney Gallagher works up top. Watch there by Bakari Wallace. And Rodney will take the three from up top. It's on the way and good as Rodney swishes it in. He has five opening quarter points. And the Mustangs a 7-2 lead over Uniontown here at the 438 mark of the first. Yeah, nice shot there, Rod, just with the pull-up. And he's steady, especially from the top of the key like that. Now it's his 27th May 3 of the season. Braxton leaning in and a little kiss off the glass there for Jameer Braxton. With the follow, Red Raiders back to within three down, 7-4 here at the 422 mark of the first. Well, and you got to think they're going to get the ball to Braxton a lot because they're going to try to get Keandre in foul trouble. Keandre from the far elbow jumper. Good Keandre. His first two of the game. Mustangs on top, 9-4 to here at the 410 mark of the first. Yeah, I mean, just kind of feed him underneath. Right now he's playing up top. But feed him underneath and see if he can pick up the foul. Calvin Winfrey for three, a little short there on the far side. Contact, ball knocked out of bounds off of Calvin and out. The Laurel Highlands basketball, but no foul call there on that sequence. Now and again, pressure going to be applied. Rod going to take it out. On the far corner in his own zone. High feed into Krisner, bounces it back to Rod. Red Raiders now back off the 2-2-1 with Rodney having the basketball. 
I think it's going to be one of those things. Once they get it across to half court, they're just going to have to drop back. And right now, the Mustangs having no trouble with this press. Ronnie will switch up with Mason Bullish. Reset to Blaze Christner. Again, got the start tonight in place of Antoine Black. Off to Keandre to Shields on the far wing. Again, Kavanaugh setting the screen. Was pushed off there by Braxton. Keandre must lost it. Regains a little fadeaway good. Keandre to Shields has four here in the opening quarter. Timeout Uniontown. 11 for Laurel Highlands. 329 left here in the first. And we're back at 60 here on the CR Brada Group. High School Sports Night. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials, some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at Hotmail.com. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Uniontown with the basketball as we come back, but Laurel Highlands leading 11-4, three from up top. Braxton no good. Rodney the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Yeah, I'm not so sure that that's a shot Coach K wants Braxton to take. Braxton has had success outside that three-point arc so far this season with 12 made threes. That ball was tapped into the backcourt there from Wallace. Mustang stay with it. Kicked in the corner. Bullish for three, and he sends it in. Three ball, corner pocket, Mason Bullish. His first points of the night come from outside the arc, and Laurel Highlands a 10-point lead over Uniontown early. Up 14-4 here, the 244 mark on the first. Coming back, the basket in one for Calvin Winfrey. And they're going to call that foul on Blaze Krisner. A nice job there by Calvin Winfrey. Body control, able to get that ball up and knock it down. And cut into that 10-point lead. Calvin, the first player other than Jameer Braxton to score tonight for Uniontown. Winfrey for the season, 59% from the free throw line, 17 of 29, makes the free throw here to pull the Red Raiders back to within 7 at 14 to 7 here at the 240 mark of the first. And Coach Kazmarski going to go to his bench. you got Levi Garner and Tavian Richardson going to check in. And as we said, He'll dig deep into that bench here tonight, try to wear these Mustangs out. Rodney works it across, off to Keandre, inside to Kavanaugh, coming free. They collapse around him, and Kavanaugh cops up the basketball. Notorious grooms out of the pack with it. Notorious brings it across, which is back here with Braxton. He'll take another three from up top. Three ball and air ball was a touch. Not going to matter. Goes out of bounds over to Laurel Highlands. Winfrey last to touch it going out. That's about the fourth three that... Braxton has launched from the outside here early in the opening six minutes. I was just going to say, and really, you know, at this point in time, take it against Keandre. He's got one foul. You know, he fouled early on. Take it to him and try to pick up the foul, but he's trying to shoot it from 19 feet out and uh, hasn't had good success. Yeah, a bit surprising early on, and now Rodney bringing it back across here for the Mustangs. Tavian Richardson defending. Rodney off to Blaze. Krisner will fire the three. It's an air ball. Loose on the far side. Bullish going for the save. Scoops it back high in the air, but Richardson on the control there for the Red Raiders with numbers. They'll pull it out on the far wing. Grooms looking for the three. Came up short. Ball loose underneath, and Blaze able to scoop it up. Sends it off to Rod on the far side. Brings down the high pass. Rodney resets. Comes inside. Back to Krisner. Now Rodney again here high on the right. Rodney covering a lot of ground. Touched off to Keandre. Jumper right of the lane. Too strong. Richardson another rebound there for Uniontown. He's covering a lot of the court as well. He came out and he's really been a spark plug right now. Winfrey for three from the near boundary rattling out. Keandre another rebound. A lot of quick threes on this Uniontown side. Yeah, not a whole lot of movement on offense. Really just coming down and settling for threes. And as we said, they're going to have to knock him down if they want to stay in this game. And I think there'd be some room down low as well on this Laurel Highland side defensively surprised as you mentioned earlier. They're not trying to go after Keandre with Keandre already having a foul on him. He has the basketball right now with Levi Gardner defending. Gardner a little poke. Keandre stays with it. Comes baseline near side. He's going to get his They're second now. Another charge. Wow. Well, and again, I mean, they just stood in there, you know, and that's going to be a big foul. You get a minute left to go in his first quarter, and he's going to have to be careful. We saw him getting foul trouble in that Lincoln Park game. Now they're going to put Leighton in and take Keandre out, so he's definitely going to sit at least for this last, <clears throat> excuse me, last minute of this first quarter. Of course, that's the only game that the Mustangs have lost so far this season was against Lincoln Park. 
when Keandre got in foul trouble. Winfrey coming back. Scoop shot, score it for Calvin Winfrey. He has five Red Raiders back to within five now at 14 to nine here at the 47 second mark of the opening quarter. Well, and Winfrey got that to go even though Kavanaugh got a piece of it. Bullish back to Rodney, edge of the zone, watched by Grooms with Kavanaugh setting the screen and Rodney mugged up top there by Calvin. Yeah, Calvin just going for the steal and got more of Rod's arm than he did of the ball. So he's going to pick up his first. It's going to be the team third. Bullish to trigger it in. In the backcourt to Blaze Krisner, trying to touch it off to Rod Richardson. Again, good defense. A little deflection, but Rod on the regain. Rodney between defenders coming inside. Put it off the glass and in. And drew the foul in the process. Another situation of Rod being Rod might have a technical here. Yeah, I'm not we'll so sure. See. Let's see. They, I, I think they're going to try to let it go a little bit. Basket's going to be good. That foul on Gardner. Yep, foul on Gardner. So Rod might have got away with something. Coach K's looking for it. But one of those things just did not get the call. So Rod now with a chance. Three-point play. Rodney 72% so far this season from the free throw line. Mustangs up 16 to nine, make it 17 to nine as Rodney converts. He has eight opening quarter points. 27 seconds left here in the opening frame. A 17-9 lead for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Here's Grooms between the circles. Touching it off to Calvin Winfrey. Near side to 10 are up hold. And now Calvin again. Red yep. Raiders might hold here for the last shot. Well, the Mustangs in a zone defense. So right now they're, they'd seen man to man for the first seven minutes. Grooms touching it off to Calvin on a six seconds left in the quarter. Grooms will hop step, pulls back to Calvin. Long three up top, off the mark. Battle for the rebound. Uphold found it. Did he get fouled going up? Yes, he did. They're going to call that on Rod. And that's going to be his first. She'll have two free throw attempts. They're going to send the cheerleaders back. They're ready to cheer. They're not watching the game. No, you got to pay attention. <laughs> and have two free throws here for Tanner Uphold, who's 65% for the season. Uniontown as a team, though, Tony, much improved, 65%, 134 of 207 coming into this game. Are they going to have the shots here now? And they're going to put .3 seconds I back up. Interesting. The foul's going to be on Gallagher. His first. Yeah. But again, you have DeAndre with two already, and now Rodney with one. Yeah, they didn't post it. Yeah, they're posting it now, but, yeah, that's going to be his first. Fourth team foul. The other Mustang to pick up a foul was Blaze Krisner. Now Uphold looking for his first points of the game. Came in averaging 4.7 points and 2.3 rebounds a game and nails the free throw here. Well, that's the key. Get all these free shots, you got to make them against a very good Mustang team. Now Uphold for a second. It's up on the way and good for Tanner Uphold. So point three left here in the opening quarter. Just handed into Rodney Gallagher and that'll do it. So after one quarter of basketball, it's Laurel Highland 17, Uniontown 11. We're back with a second and 60 seconds here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night on WMBS and Triple I High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Or maybe it's time for a new set of dentures. Call the office of Dr. Jonathan Christner and Dr. Jennifer Haar at 600 Cherry Tree Lane in Uniontown. Thanks to their in-office denture lab, they can make your new dentures faster than other offices and in most cases, same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Call for your appointment, 724-438-0241, or visit their Facebook page. UGMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School. Mustangs a 17-11 lead over Uniontown after one. Rodney Gallagher pacing the way for the Mustangs with eight. Calvin Winfrey with five for Uniontown. And again, the Mustangs in that 2-1-2 zone. Uniontown with the basketball to start the second quarter. Far elbow, Grooms out to Calvin. Touch off to Braxton. Good ball movement, Bakari Wallace. Try to scoop it up, no good. McLee scores on the putback. Kadrian McLee is first two of the game for Uniontown. Red Raiders back to within four, down 17 to 13. Yeah, and McLee just with a little size advantage on that backside, able to jump over. That's going to be a backcourt. He's going to be over and back. Was not tipped there. Well, miscommunication there on the pass from Bittner back to Gallagher. 
And as we said, McLee with that 6-5 frame able to jump over everybody, grab that offensive rebound for the putback. You have Keandre to Shields on the Mustang bench right now. Two personal fouls to start this second quarter. Here's Grooms off to Calvin. Touched in the corner to Braxton. And now Grooms again up top. He needs to have the basketball down for a little juggle. Ball was deflected out of bounds. No, going to stop a Braxton and out. The Mustang basketball. Good hands by Shane Layton right there. He able to poke that ball and it hit Braxton before it went out of bounds. So good defense there by Layton. So Rodney sending it into Nate Schwartzfeger also into the game on the Mustang side. Back to Rodney, picked up there by Kadrian McLee. Again, Kavanaugh coming out to set the screen. High feed off to Bittner here on the near side. There's Michael Bittner, edge of the zone, pressured. Touched off to Kavanaugh, back to Bittner, double teamed in a little bit of trouble. Nice Good pass. ball movement. Layton comes free and got swatted by Kadrian McLee. Here come the Red Raiders going the other way. Calvin off to Grooms. Grooms and Calvin play catch. Grooms has it again, high on the right. A lot of these Mustangs coming off the bench tell need to go strong in some of these situations as Grooms drives in. Off balance shot, no good, but Kadrian McLee there on the near block to send it in again. And the Red Raiders back to within two now, down 17 to 15. 6.35 left here in the second quarter. Yeah, and you're going to see Keandre come check back in here on the next dead ball for the Mustangs. High feed again, far side. Schwartzfeger brings it down. Needs a little help. Gets it there from Bittner here between the circles. Timeout, Laurel Highlands. We'll take it as well. 6.23 left before halftime. 17-15 Mustangs are back in 60 here on the CR Braddock Group High School Sports Night. Are you looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? Look no more. With over 200 vehicles, Gary's Auto Sales is the largest used car dealer in the area. Whether you need a truck, car, or SUV, you'll find it at Gary's Auto Sales. Browse the website at garysautosales.com or call 724-626-8080. Gary's Auto Sales, in business since 1974, with the motto, Many Miles, Many Smiles. On Route 119 between Uniontown and Connellsville, Gary's Auto Sales, a proud sponsor of Laurel Highlands Mustangs basketball. Hello, this is your Fayette County Commissioner, Vince Facides. There is nothing more exciting than high school sports. As a graduate of Laurel Highland and a letterman myself, I know all the athletes work extra hard to be competitive, plus maintain their study skills. Again, this is Commissioner Vince Facides saluting all the young contestants for their efforts. Good luck and may the best team prevail. And the winner is... Mustangs with the basketball as we come back, and Michael Bittner missing on a three. Uniontown the rebound. Keandre to Shields is back out there on the Laurel Island side. Wallace pulling it back out, saved there by Winfrey. Off to his left to Grooms, now Winfrey again. Far side, Bakari Wallace coming baseline. Tough shot underneath, going to get it to go. McLee looking for the follow, got fouled going back up. Yeah, foul there on Shane Layton as he and McLee fought for that rebound. McLee. Coming on strong here in his second quarter. <laughs> Already scored four points. Now with a chance to go to the line and pick up a couple more. It's 56% for the season from the free throw line. First of two here, no good. Came in 19 of 34. You have Bullish and Krisner now checking in for Layton and Schwartzweger. He also had Cavanaugh in there as well. So basically the original starting five back out for Laurel Highlands. Second of two free throws, good for Kadrian McLee. His five second quarter points. Red Raiders back to within one, down 17 to 16. And the Red Raiders right now four for five from the line in this game. Keandre touched off Kavanaugh. Near side, Blaze Krisner. Got to go back into Kavanaugh. A little miscommunication travel. there. Braxton had the rebound, but he slid on the floor and called for the travel. Mustangs without a point so far here in the second quarter. Yeah, and McLee with all the points for the Unitown Red Raiders. Coach Kizmarski asking for an explanation, but it was a good call. He definitely fell, and it was a travel. Uniontown definitely has been the quicker team tonight. Now you'll have Krisner send it in here for Laurel Highlands near the Uniontown bench. He'll bounce it into the backcourt to Rodney Gallagher as a little conversation with Coach Hogger. He'll bring it back across. Rodney off to Mason Bullish. Touch to Keandre, trying to go low to Kavanaugh again. Almost lost it, regains back to Keandre. He floats it off the glass, couldn't get it to drop. And Grooms pulls down the rebound there for Uniontown. Off to Winfrey and across. Back to Notorious, open three up top, off the mark. Rebound tipped around, who else? McLee, another rebound. Puts it back up and in. Kadrian McLee, seven points all here in the second quarter. And Uniontown has a lead now at 18 to 17. Yeah, and he just came on strong, and he's just showing his athletic ability underneath there. He got the hops, and he's able to put back all these rebounds. 
Doing Hershey. a great job for the Red Raiders. DeAndre down low, Kavanaugh got fouled there by Calvin. That'll be his second personal foul. Well, that could be a big foul, too. I mean, if they could pick up a third on him, really changes the guard tandem for the Red Raiders. Handles the ball a lot out there for Coach Kesmarski's squad. Well, and the other thing, too, is a good three-point shooter, so you take him out of the game, a little bit of difference. Kavanaugh, first of two free throws, good. Three points in this game for Patrick Kavanaugh. Came in 57% for the season from the foul line, 8 of 14. For our Highlands is the team, 124 of 184, 67%. Kavanaugh now a second of two up on the way and good for Patrick Kavanaugh as Laurel Highlands retakes the lead at 19 to 18. 456 left before halftime. Yeah, so far everything we expected, Brian. <laughs> Just a great basketball game. Here's Grooms back across, tried a little kick out, deflected there by Keandre. Was looking for Jeremiah Hager in the far corner. Yeah, Hager's Hager. played well this season as well. For yes, he has. Time. Yeah, and the thing of it is, he was wide open. Probably had a chance to either take the three or try to drive baseline, but Good hands by Keandre there to knock the ball out of play. Braxton descended in, high feed, an old collision. Ball comes loose and scoops up travel. there by Kavanaugh, ran into Notorious Grooms. They're going to say that ball went off of Kavanaugh out to the Uniontown basketball. Yeah, I actually thought they were going to call a travel, but it was on Kavanaugh as he dropped it out of bounds. And actually, Laurel Highland's fortunate. I thought Blaze Krisner got away with a foul. I agree. Referees have let them play a lot, though, tonight as Grooms locks the three from the near wing. A little bit short there. Deflected around. Nice save from Hager. Back to Braxton. Comes back inside. High feet. McLeese somehow brought it down. Leans inside. Couldn't get that one to drop. And Prisoner out of the pack with it there for Laurel Highlands. Yeah, and I think Braxton should have taken that shot. He tried to dish it. Rodney coming down the lane. Had it poked away. Here's Grooms coming back the other side. Needs a save. High feet. Deflected back and bullish there with it for Laurel Highlands. So the Mustangs a one-point lead with a basketball again. Keandre up top, no look pass off to Rod. Fires the three from the near side, rattles out. And Grooms picks up the rebound there for Uniontown. Here's Notorious. Jumper from just inside the foul line. Good for Notorious Grooms. It sat on the rim before dropping in. First two of the game for Tory Grooms. Red Raiders back in the lead at 20-19. And a nice offensive possession right there. Grooms able to get the shooter's roll. Pick up his first two points of the night. Keandre back to Krisner. Deep three off the mark. Keandre came crashing in. Couldn't pick up the rebound. Ball loose again. And Kadri McLee, another board there for Union Tap. Yeah, he's playing a great game right now. Off to Braxton. Jameer Braxton, the Albert Gallatin transfer. Drives, misses McLee. Another cleanup. Kadrian McLee, nine second quarter points. And Uniontown a 22-19 lead over Laurel Highlands with 3.22 left before halftime. Yeah, and a smart move there by Braxton. Took it right at Keandre. He didn't want to pick up his third. Had the easy layup, just couldn't get it to go, but good putback by McLee. Laurel Highlands has scored only two points here in the second quarter without a field goal. It's two made free throws for Patrick Cavanaugh. Three ball in the corner. Boy, did the Mustangs need that, and they got it from Blaze Krisner. First points of the game come from outside the three-point arc, and we're tied at 22. Yeah, the third made three by the Mustangs here tonight, and that was a big one. Here's Grooms down low, McLee spinning between defenders. And another finish for Kadrian McLee, having the game of his life tonight. Came in averaging seven points and seven rebounds a game. He has 11 already. Rodney back on the other side, missing there on a three. Braxton the rebound. A junior town 24, Laurel Highlands 22, 235 left before halftime. Yeah, a little surprised that the Mustangs playing man-to-man -man right now. You'd have thought that it dropped back into a zone to try to protect Keandre from picking up his third foul. Grooms, three from up top. He reigns it in. Notorious Grooms. All Union down in the second quarter. Up 27 to 22, lead at five. 2.15 left before halftime. A gut check time for the Mustangs. Keandre on the far side, front of there by Braxton. Back to Krisner, high on the left. Now Ron again between the circles. Gallagher a hold off to Krisner. Fires the three on the way. This one off the side of the rim, no good. Got his own rebound. Resets to Gallagher again. Crashes on the inside. A lot of contact. Whoa. Have to call something there. <laughs> no, they didn't call anything. Thought I heard a whistle. They're going to play on. Keandre down low to Kavanaugh. And Kavanaugh is fouled underneath. Wow. How is that not a foul in the first sequence? Ooh, I'm not so sure, but... Even in that situation, I think Keandre should have taken that shot. He tried to dump that pass down to Kavanaugh, but that was a tough pass and catch for Kavanaugh to make. Keandre should have just finger-rolled it, tried to hit that little floater there in the lane. And I thought I heard a whistle on that first sequence, but nothing was called second personal on Bakari Wallace. 16 foul on Uniontown. So now you have Winfrey with two, Wallace with two on the Uniontown side, Keandre with two on the Laurel Highland side. 
Gallagher to work it in. 146 left before halftime. And Nicky Andre fakes the three. Now takes the long two and got fouled in the process by Tavian Richardson. So Keandre will head to the foul line to shoot two with the Mustangs down five with 141 left before halftime. Yeah, and the Mustangs will be in the one and one for the rest of this first half. Let's we were see. talking to our buddy Billy Dice earlier today, and he said Kadrian was going to be the key. And boys, he'd been big here in the second quarter with 11. And now Keandre, first of two free throws, good. Five tonight for Keandre to Shields. That means Billy's not as sick as we thought he was. No. <laughs> yeah, no, Billy Dice gets better. De'Aaron Jenkins not here tonight. Will Amen not here tonight, all under the weather. Keandre's second free throw, good. But Keandre with six. Mustangs back to within three. One possession game at 27-24. 135 left before halftime. Notorious Grooms back across. Braxton setting the screen. Torrey up top. Torrey driving far wing and in. Put it off the glass. And they're going to say the basket had one there for Torrey Grooms. Who's the foul going to go on? Bolish. Just his first. Yeah, foul's going to be on Bolish. Bodying up Grooms as he took it strong to the basket. So now Notorious... Only he and McLee with all the scoring here in the second quarter for the Red Raiders. Torrey with seven, Kadrian with 11. And Notorious, who's 75% this season from the foul line, misses one here. Kavanaugh the rebound for the Mustangs. Pulls it back to Keandre, so the Mustangs down five with the basketball. 119 left before halftime. Bullish got pushed there from Bakari. Saved by Keandre, spins back inside, scoops it up. Could not get that shot to drop, and Braxton rebound there for the Red Raiders. Jameer Braxton back across. Braxton up top. Braxton driving inside and got blocked there by Kavanaugh. No foul called. We play on. Rodney going the other way. Rodney driving. Scoop shot. No good. Kavanaugh offensive rebound. Resets to Keandre. Fights back inside and floats it up and in. Keandre to Shields. Four in the second. Eight for the game. Mustangs back to within three. Down 29 to 26 with 46 seconds left before halftime. Grooms will switch back here with Braxton. Fronted by Keandre. Back to Grooms again, now watched by Rodney with 37 seconds left here in the first half. Let's see how far down the Red Raiders take it on this possession. Uphold setting the screen. Grooms off to Tanner, got blocked there by Keandre. What a swat there from Keandre to Shields. Aggressive play with two personal fouls. Now Keandre runs the floor, trying to go coast to coast. Couldn't finish, again a lot of contact. Red Raiders out of the pack with it. Grooms back through center, off to Bakari Wallace, leans in, wow. blocked by Rodney, ruled off of Bakari's knee, and out will be Laurel Highlands basketball. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. I thought for sure that Gallagher might have got called for a foul there. I did too, what a sequence there. <laughs> Rodney again up top, three on the way, halfway down, spun out. Bowlers came crashing in. It'll be Uniontown basketball with 3.9 left. Yeah, still enough time to get a shot up here. Layton will check in, protecting Keandre. Yeah, smart move there by Coach Hogger. You surely don't want to see him pick up his third foul, especially with only 3.9 seconds to go here in this quarter. He'll roll it in here to Grooms. He'll pick it up just shy of midcourt, and Grooms from the near side forces up a three. It's no good. Wallace had the rebound. Shot won't count at the buzzer. So we've reached halftime. Laurel Highlands got things started with a 17-11 lead after one, but all Union Town in the second quarter to lead by three at halftime, 29 to 26. We're back to recap the first half numbers for you in a moment. Our halftime show brought to you by the Radcliffe Law Firm comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Sam Davis was from heaven. He knows the law and the court system unlike anyone else I've ever met or seen. Sam helped me get through the federal court system with the best possible outcome. Davis and Davis, personal injury and workers' comp. We at Davis and Davis are humbled by what our clients have to say about us. If you've been injured, call me, Jim Davis, for a free consultation. We have been helping injured people for over 40 years. Call 724 437-2799. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Garrett Brickhire has been a business owner and doctor in the Uniontown community for 38 years. He's actively involved in the community, served as team chiropractor for the Laurel Highland School District, 
and was inducted into the Laurel Highlands Life Achievement Hall of Fame. Dr. Brakearn is also chairman of the Fayette County Reagan Republicans and wants to continue to make a difference in the community. And he'll be running for South Union Township Supervisor in the May 2023 primary. Good luck to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs from Dr. Garrett Brakearn. Bruce Beard, located at 187A Connellsville Street and available by phone at 724-417-4958, is here to meet your accounting, tax service, and real estate management needs. Call Bruce Beard at 724-417-4958, 724-417-4958. Good luck and best wishes to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders. From Bruce Spear. The WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Orthopedic and Spine Institute is open, and their experienced providers are ready to care for you. Orthopedic and spine care spans a wide range of problems, from arthritis to joint trauma caused by injury or overuse. Hips, shoulders, knees, and backs are the most common areas where patients experience pain or impaired function. At WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, they can treat orthopedic and spine problems with state-of-the-art care. Their board-certified orthopedic surgeons and specialists are well-experienced in the latest treatments for damaged and diseased joints. They offer everything from physical therapies to joint repairs and joint replacements. Whenever possible, the newest minimally invasive techniques are used to ensure quicker recovery, less pain, and less damage to surrounding tissues. To learn more about the newly opened Orthopedic and Spine Institute at WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital or to schedule an appointment, call 724-912-7533 or visit wvumedicine.org slash uniontown. WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, the new us here for you. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Going on now at the other Chevy East. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $99 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit seaharborchevyeast.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. This is the GMF Financial for well-qualified individuals. 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. With 6,500 cash rate equity with GMLE's loyalty or lease conquest. Plus tax title fees and first payments. Sale ends January 31st, 2023. Fall supplies last. Call dealer for all of the details at 724-668-2231. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanoa, Snags, Donnie Santor behind the camera, Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine, Uniontown Hospital Studios, 29-26. Uniontown in the lead over Laurel Highlands here at halftime. We've got our halftime show brought to you by the Radcliffe Law Firm. Tony is your halftime stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County. All right, let's take a look at the Uniontown Red Raiders stats in that first half. They were led by Kadrian McLee, who had 11 points. All of those came in the second quarter. The court, Notorious Grooms also had seven points, and they all came in the second quarter as well. So all 18 points scored by Kadrian McLee and Notorious Grooms. Five points by Calvin Winfrey. All of those came in the first quarter. Four points by Jameer Braxton. Two points by Tanner Uphold for their total of 29. They had 11 in the first quarter, 18 points in that second quarter for their total of 29. They were four for six from the foul line in that first half, and they had one made three, that by Notorious Grooms in that second quarter. For the Mustangs, they were led by both Keandre DeShields and Rodney Gallagher, who both had eight points in that first quarter. Gallagher's eight, all coming in the first quarter, did not score in the second quarter at all. Four points by Patrick Cavanaugh, a made three by Blaze Krisner, and a made three by Mason Bolish. They, they scored 17 in the first and only nine points in the second quarter for their total of 26. They were five for five from the foul line in that first half. And they had three made threes, one by Gallagher, one by Bullish, and one by Blaze Krisner. And on our Peachens Pharmacy scoreboard, Tony, one scored a pass along to you at halftime, Bell Vernon, a 41-28 lead over Elizabeth Forward. Again, here at Junior Town, 29, Laurel Highlands, 26. Second half comes your way next here on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Barry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Barry is located at 84 East Main Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vince T. Barry. It will be the only call you need to make. 
Call 724-430-0300. That's 724-430-0300. Pizza, beer, atmosphere. It's all at Mom Maruca's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruca's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruca's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit mommarucapizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Chris Parker Jr., what's new for 2023 at LA and Hyundai? Hyundai is starting out 2023 with a great incentive. Both the new 2023 Hyundai Sonata or Santa Fe Limited have available 1250 HMF bonus cash. Any other special offers? Hyundai is thinking of every mile when it comes to their customers. So when it comes to great gas mileage, come in and check out the new 2023 Hyundai Elantra SE. It can be yours for a lease payment of only $219 per month for 36 months. Just see us for finance details. Is Hyundai still offering three-year free complimentary maintenance in 2023? Like I said, Hyundai is thinking of every mile. That's why they continue to offer three-year, 36,000-mile complimentary maintenance on every new Hyundai. Plus, Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper coverage. Autoland Hyundai, downtown Union Town. See them online at autolandhyundai.com or call 724-437-9999. Remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Let's face it, sometimes local is just better. Locally grown, locally sourced, shop local, eat local. What about local expertise? At Allstate, Russ Blayho is just that, a local. So contact Uniontown area Allstate agent Russ Blayho so Russ can help you with protection that's right for you and the things you love most. Allstate, are you in good hands? Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henney extends his best wishes to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, the Uniontown Red Raiders, and all our local teams for a great season. District Judge Nathan Henning recognizes a successful season requires teamwork. It's the result of the hard work of the players and the coaches and the support of their families. Good luck to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders. From District Judge Nathan Henning. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, ready to start the third quarter. The Uniontown Red Raiders, a 29-26 lead over the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. And Tony, we were talking in halftime with our buddy Mookie John about what an event this is. The Union Tower Highlands game. Tonight. Oh, everybody looks forward to this. And as you can tell by this fantastic crowd, and everybody's into it. And, and they're seeing another classic in this crosstown rivalry, no doubt about it. I mean, 117 times, and this 118th one's just as good. Certainly more than a game this evening. Mustangs down three. They'll start the third quarter with the basketball, working right to left as we describe it, as Blaze Krisner sends it in to Rodney Gallagher. Off to his left to Mason Bullish. He's been a little quiet tonight, just that one made three in the opening frame. Back to Blaze, and now Mason Bullish again. Mustangs trying to get something going here on the offensive side. They led 17-11 after one, but Uniontown, a big second quarter, doubled up the Mustangs at 18-9 to lead here by three. 
Prisoner again on the near wing. Back to Rodney between the circles. Mustangs feeling out the Red Raiders a little bit on this opening possession of the third quarter. Here's Keandre, double teamed in the lane. Fights inside, put it up and off the glass with a left hand. Got it back. He got the basket to go and one. What a follow there from Keandre. Kept fighting. He's now in double figures with 10 and an opportunity to tie this game here at the free throw line. Yeah, and he picked up the foul on Braxton. That's going to be his second. And good job by Keandre to stay with the shot. Almost got the first one to go, but followed it nicely and able to put it back and pick up the foul. It's to tie the game. No good. Braxton the rebound. Keandre two for three now from the foul on with 68% coming in so far this season. It's the first miss, miss by the Mustangs from the foul line here tonight. Now five for six. Grooms back on the other side after Bakari Walls. A little mini weave up top. Now to Calvin Winfrey fighting inside. Got blocked there by Krisner. Deflected out of bounds. We'll stay with Uniontown here in the Laura Highland zone. Yeah, good defense there by Krisner. Held his ground and able to block that shot by Winfrey. Took it up strong, but good job there by Blaze. Grooms into Braxton, near side now Calvin Winfrey, switches back with Notorious, watched by Rod, now Bakari Wallace, Red Raiders senior coming inside, trying to scoop it up, shot attempt no good, Kavanaugh the rebound, out of the pack to Bullish and across, Mason Bullish, far side Gallagher, two on the way, it was a long two, no good, Winfrey the rebound, almost threw it away but saved there by Braxton. And Jameer Braxton back across here for Uniontown, Braxton pull up three up top, was it deflected going out, it was, or remain Uniontown basketball here in the Laurel Highland zone. They're going to say Keandre got a piece of it. And again, Braxton coming up and pulling up from 19 feet away. I just not so sure I understand that one. I think he'll get one of these to go eventually. He did come into the game, though, as we said. 12 May, threes on the season. Calvin near wing. Three just a little bit too strong. Deflected off to Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher one on two. Spins inside. Put it off wow. the glass and in. Vintage Rodney Gallagher. He has 10. And Laurel Highlands now in the lead at 30-29. A little 4-0 mini run to start this third quarter. Yeah, and Rod's first basket. First point since the first quarter. Braxton again for Uniontown, trying to fight here on Keandre. Braxton, tough little leaner, no good. Keandre, a little juggle, able to corral in the rebound. Keandre back across. Keandre left of the lane. Keandre staying with it. Nice Hands pass. off, Bullish comes free backside, lays it up and in. Mason Bullish now with five. Mustangs, a little surge here, 6 0 run now to start the third quarter. They lead Uniontown 32 to 29, 550 left here in the third. Yeah, and a good look by Keandre, as you said. The defense just slumped down, and three guys were on him. Left Bullish wide open for an easy layup underneath. Grooms near side, watched by Rodney. Now Grooms driving off the glass, got it to drop. Notorious Grooms, first two points for Uniontown here in the third. Grooms, nine for the game, 32-31 Mustangs. 5.30 left here in the third. Keandre, three from the parking lot, halfway down. A little poke out, though, from Kavanaugh. Kept alive to Krisner. Now Gallagher again, edge of the zone here for the Mustangs. Yeah, Kavanaugh's been able to poke a couple balls out so far in this third quarter. Sent into the corner to Keandre. Little ball fake. Now will fire the three off the side of the rim. No good. Rebound again. Tipped around. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be Uniontown basketball. Little pinball in there. Little pinball. And like I said, Kavanaugh able to get a hand on it a couple times. Able to keep possession with the Mustangs on those tips. So good job by him early here in this third quarter. So Uniontown, another opportunity to retake the lead. They're down one with the basketball. 5.05. Left here in the third, 32-31. Mustangs over the Red Raiders. Grooms back across on the far side. McLee is going to set the screen. Backed off. They switch back to Braxton. Watch there by Keandre again with two personals. Braxton driving and got nice stripped steal. by Keandre. Keandre trying to regain his feet. A little help from Kavanaugh. A little collision in the backcourt. Kept alive by Krisner. Back up to Keandre. Keandre in the lane. Pull up jumper foul line. Off the mark. Rare miss there from Keandre to Shields. Usually money from that spot. Yeah, and they actually had numbers. They had a five-on-three break. Just didn't take advantage of it. Calvin spinning back, got blocked in the lane. We play on. Mustangs feed it off to Gallagher and scooped it over the shoulder. Couldn't get it to drop. A little collision. Both Bakari and Rodney went crashing into the little storage shed there. We play on as Kavanaugh has it. He gets fouled. Wow. I think that's going to be on Winfrey. And it is. That's going to be his third. So that's a big foul. 419 to go here in his third quarter. And Win Winfrey picks up his third. I only posted his seconds, but we had him for three. I did have him for three, right? We'll double check that. Off the inbounds pass. Kavanaugh with the bank in. Patrick Kavanaugh, two points in every quarter so far. Mustangs go back up three at 34 to 31. And that's a big shot because we said before, Kav Kavanaugh, a confidence player. He knocks down a couple shots and he starts feeling it. Braxton up top, directs traffic. Switch back here with Calvin Winfrey. McLee setting the screen. Now Grooms again. 
Back to Braxton. Braxton long two up top. Off the mark, high rebound. Who else finds it? Kadrian McLee. And what do we have here? Foul away from the ball. They're going to get Bakari Wallace on the foul. That'll be his third. Yeah, and Wallace doesn't agree with it, but really good position by Bullish on the block out. And Bakari Wallace just kind of pulled him down from the backside, so he's going to pick up his third. So now all of a sudden you have Winfrey and Wallace with three. And on the Mustangs, then only the Shields with two fouls. You mentioned, though, coming in, you need to sound certainly more depth than Laurel Highlands. Yeah. And as Still, we you said don't want a senior like Bakari Wallace, though, to have to sit here for a while. Oh, not the way he hustles on the floor, no doubt about it. But you're right, they're pretty loaded. Here's Bullish coming far. Baseline floater no good. Braxton the rebound there for Uniontown. 3.37 left here in the third. Red Raiders the basketball down three. Tanner Uphold now into the game. Trying to come inside. He got fouled there. Reach in from Blaze Krisner. Yeah, Krisner trying to go for the steal there and just got caught on the backside. So he's going to pick up his second foul. So he's going to join Keandre with two. If you're just joining us. A huge second quarter for Union Sounds. Kadrian McLeese scored 11 points in that second frame. Really took over the game. He has it here again. Coming far winging in. What a dunk from Kadrian McLee. Might have been the best dunk we've seen all season. <laughs> it was pretty good, no doubt about it. And the seat just parted and gave him the lane. Wow. And he was able to throw that down. That is the dunk of the year from Kadrian McLee. This Uniontown crowd now getting into it. Keandre coming back, a little hop step, and he'll get the basket in one out in front. And he's going to flex for him and, we're gonna have and maybe pick up a technical. Uh, don't do that crazy stuff. That's going to be on, did they call it on uphold or did they call it on Braxton? It's going to be on uphold, I think. It, it is. First. Yeah. Couldn't tell us. Mike Gaffney hold up uh, 34 or 23. Hey, while we have a quick timeout, I want to give a shout-out to my in-laws, Joe and Bernie Pesco, who are listening, down in Newboro, PA. Had people checking in from everywhere tonight, California, Alabama, Florida, <laughs> South Carolina. Plymouth meeting. Yes. And Keandre's free throw, good. So Keandre didn't bring the action like McLee did with a dunk, but he still got a three-point play. Give Laura Highlands a four-point lead again at 37-33 as we go under three minutes left here in the third. Well, I'll tell you what, the way he drove to the basket, he was looking every bit of putting it down like Kadrian did. Now Braxton driving back, got the two to go. Jameer Braxton now has six for the game. And the Red Raiders back to within two down, 37 to 35, 240 left here in the third quarter. Here's kinda, Rodney bringing it back across. Yeah, kind of like a matchup zone here by Uniontown. Yeah, Bullish with a little space down on uphold, picks him up defensively. As Rodney holds here high on the right, goes cross court near side over to Krisner on the switch. 222 left in the third. Little double team coming here on Blaze. Needs a little help. Sends it off to Bullish. Swings it to Rodney, who will fire the three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Keandre looking for the rebound. It was Calvin Winfrey with the control off to Grooms. Little give and go. Back to Calvin driving in for the finish. Calvin Winfrey now with seven. Or knotted up at 37 with 2.01 left here in the third quarter. He had a nice job there by Grooms to see the cutting Winfrey going right down the lane for the easy layup. In the corner, Bullish for three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Little momentum surge back in Union Town's direction. Winfrey forward to Grooms. Grooms up top, watched there by Rodney. Near side, Calvin thought about the three, stays with it, back to Notorious again. 139 now left in the third. Winfrey again coming inside. Got a little off balance there, just threw it right to Kavanaugh, who will send it forward to Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher down the near boundary, comes inside. Little slip, tries to stay with it. Went down, no foul call. We play on, and Braxton going the other way. Off to Grooms, to his left, and cutting up. Oh, got rejected by Kavanaugh. Ball comes loose, and somehow McLeaf found it. Scrum for it on the court. Bullish had it. And I think they're going to call a foul here on McLeaf. They w will, wow. They're going to call a foul on McLeaf, but to be honest with you, he was out of bounds on the end line, and it should have been Laurel Highland's ball down here without the foul on Kadrian, but needless to say, he's going to pick up his second, and that's going to send Levi Garner back into the game. So McClee actually giving high fives to people in the stands after that dunk, able to rouse that Unitown crowd. And we're game, seeing a good one here, Brian. Game tied at 37, 105 left in the third. Krisner near wing, little ball fake. 
front of there by Calvin. Sends it off to his left to Keandre. Keandre trying to come alive. Fires the three. In and out. Not getting a lot of those shots to drop tonight. Rebound, though. Poke back out to Krisner on the regain. Off to Keandre again. Trying to reload. Hard pass down to Bullish. Resets Cavan on near side. Couldn't finish. But Keandre does with the send in out in front. Keandre to Shields. Mustang faithful now on their feet. 39 37 Mustangs. <laughs> That probably has our buddy Big George up again tonight as well, Tony. How fun is this? <laughs> what an atmosphere for high school basketball. Up pole, looking for the answer back. Three out the front of the rim, no good. Backside rebound, Gardner keeps it alive. Reset edge of the zone now to Notorious Grooms. High on the left with 20 seconds left here in the third. Grooms between defenders. Pulls it back now, Tavian Richardson. Pass goes out of bounds over to Laura Highlands. Mustangs might get the last shot of the quarter. Well, I would definitely hold for the last shot here, 13.6 to go. And I'm sure Coach Auger is going to hold for the last. And as you said, we saw McLee throw one down, and you knew DeShields was waiting, just waiting to get one of those. Gallagher coming back, got swatted. Ball loose, another scrum for it. We'll get a jump ball here with five seconds left in the quarter. That possession arrow will go to Uniontown. Well, you know what? That's not a bad no. thing right there because Laurel Hannans get it to start the fourth quarter now. Red Raiders have to go the length of the floor. Yeah. Up hold. And to Calvin. Let's see if they can capitalize. Winfrey across. Winfrey up top. Leaned in. And oh! Banked it in. Wow. I don't think he called that one, but it still went down. And that gives Union down the lead after three at 40 to 39. Boy, this has been fun. We're back with a fourth and 60 here on the Sea Operata Group High School Sports Night. Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer litigated over 275 civil and criminal trials some of which have been aired on Oprah, Inside Edition, and ESPN. Having an engineering degree, master's in business administration, and law degree qualifies him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. His firm concentrates in wills, trusts, estates, property transfers, personal injury, solar field and Marcellus gas negotiations, and family law. Small enough to care and smart enough to win. Phone 724-425-1162 or email Tommy Schaefer at hotmail.com. Going on now, the other Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox for only $99 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit charperchevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is to GMS for well-qualified individuals, 24 months and 10,000 miles yearly, with 6,500 cash rate equity down with GM lease loyalty or conquest. Payment is for tax, title fees, and for payment. Sale ends January 31st, 2023. While supplies last, call dealer for all other details at 724-929-8000. Back here for the fourth quarter. Can the fourth quarter, Tony, be better than the first three? Tell you what, if it is, then we're going to see a fantastic ending to this game. Had a couple of throwdowns, and then the leaned-in three sent in by... Calvin Winfrey to end the quarter. Now, I want to tell you what, you're right, he did not call it. And pretty good defense there by the Mustangs. But Winfrey, I don't even know how he got the shot up but able to get it to go. Great student support as well. Mustang students off on the far side. Our buddy Grant Barczak leading the cheers on the Uniontown side. Mustangs with the basketball to start the fourth quarter up top. Prisoner had an open look. Now he's going to take it. Looking for the lead back off the mark. And the rebound ripped away by Bakari Wallace. I think we'll get a foul called here on the Mustangs' Mason Bullish. Yeah, Bullish and Bakari Wallace fighting for that rebound underneath. And Bullish going to pick up his second foul. Got to give a shout-out, too, to my buddy Denny Hanna, who's listening out in Goshen, Indiana. Wow. Watching from everywhere tonight. We had somebody checking from Thailand. Thailand? Yes. Wow. That's interesting. Here's Braxton up top. Braxton leaning, putting it off the glass. Couldn't get it to drop. Keandre the rebound there for the Mustangs. Keandre back across. Keandre between defenders leaning, putting it off the glass. He couldn't get it to drop. Goes out of bounds over to Union Tech. Mustang fans wanted it off of Union Town and out. No, I think it was a pretty good call. I thought Keandre knocked it out. Unfortunate that he couldn't make that layup. Drove to the basket nicely, just a little too strong off the glass and unable to get it to go. Union Town, a one point lead with the basketballs. Notorious Grooms will bring it across here for the Red Raiders. Pulls back to Calvin and now Tory Grooms again. Directs traffic fronted there by Krisner. We go under seven minutes left here in the fourth. Grooms coming inside, floats it up, shot attempt no good. McLee, another offensive rebound, scored on another putback. Boy, McLee and Winfrey have been huge on the Union Town side. That's 15 for Kadrian, and the Red Raiders go up three at 42 to 39. Yeah, they've really done all the damage in the second and third quarters for the Red Raiders. Gallagher up top for three, and the tie spins out. 
Braxton the rebound there for Indian Town. Those are those shots that Rod usually gets to drop most of the time, but not on that one. And then Braxton finally a make from the outside. Knew it was coming eventually. Hits there. Timeout on the court. 6:21 left. Union Town, their largest lead of the night. Up six at 45 to 39. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Attorney Bill Martin, partner at Radcliffe Law. I have experience in workplace accident cases for nearly 15 years. If you've been hurt at work and are trying to navigate a workers' compensation claim, are you being treated unfairly by your employer? When you're hurt at work, your employer's main goal is to get you back to work, but you may not be physically ready to do that. If you find yourself in a similar situation, call us at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. We'll meet with you at no cost. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. 45-39 Uniontown. Big three-pointer right before the time out there from Jameer Braxton on the Uniontown side. Now the Mustangs must answer back. Down six with 6.15 to play. Yeah, kind of interesting. Like a 1-3-1 one, one against the Mustangs here. and I think Krisner might have got away with a walk. They might throw it away yeah, anyways, and he will. Exactly. All the momentum right now on Uniontown's side. They lead by six with 6.08 to play. Yeah. Hey, quick shout out to my neighbor, Sean Martin, his son, Caden, his girlfriend, Blake, Kinley, and Cannon, and Ryan watching tonight. So thanks, guys. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Here's Calvin Winfrey up top trying to work here on Prisoner. Calvin off foul and shot. Couldn't get it to drop. It got fouled in the process. Likely going there on Blaze. Well, Blaze picked up his third, but I'll tell you what, he's done a really good job defensively, but Winfrey just able to get a couple shots to go, especially that three-pointer from the top of the key at the end of the third quarter, and uh, you've got to give Krisner credit. He's played well, but Winfrey's been able to knock him down. And the Mustangs without Antoine Black tonight as well as Calvin knocks down the first of two free throws to give him 11 for the game. And right now, Mustangs in a little bit of trouble down seven. 5.51 to go. 46-39, Uniontown second and two free throws, no good. The Mustangs get a gotta-have it rebound from Keandre to Shields. Forward to Gallagher, driving far baseline. Gets it to drop, Rodney Gallagher with 12 tonight. Mustangs still down five at 46-41. to 41. Yeah, when we got to give another shout-out, our buddy in Savannah, Georgia, Soup. Yes. Checking in. He'll be back on Friday. Here's Braxton coming near side. Get a little bump called here on the Mustangs. Might be the third on Keandre. Ooh. Yeah, that. Well, at this point, I mean, 5.29 to go. I mean, obviously, if it would go overtime, a little bit different, but three fouls on Keandre. He's done a nice job not picking up that third foul. Braxton hard feed into Bakari Wallace. Another foul called here. Might go. Bullish. On Bullish, yep. So Bullish picks up his third. Krisner, Bullish. Keandre DeShields with three on the Unitown side. Only Winfrey with three fouls. It's sent into Grooms, back edge of the zone here to Calvin Winfrey holding. Front of there by Blaze Krizner, 5.24 left here in the fourth. You need town the basketball and a five-point lead over Laurel Highlands. Here's Braxton pulling Keandre out a little bit. Braxton just dribbling up top. Now Braxton trying to spin inside. Nice he got stripped there by Keandre. Ball loose, Keandre on the regain. Off to Bullish, now Keandre again and back across. Keandre off to Rodney Gallagher on the far side. Watch there by Kadrian McLee. Comes baseline. Pulls it back out, and a blocking foul call there. If it goes on Bakari Wallace, that's his fourth. Yeah, so Wallace just trying to cut that baseline off and did not slide. Just kind of hip-checked Rod Gallagher as he went down the baseline, so he's going to pick up his fourth. Mustang send it in to Krisner. High feed, Bullish save in front of the Mustang cheerleaders. Bullish on the far wing, needs a little help, gets it there from Keandre. Keandre, right of the lane, comes inside and will put it up and in with a left hand to finish and draws the foul in the process. So Keandre to Shields, now with 17 in this game. And the Mustangs make it a one possession game. Again, they're down three 
at 46 to 43. Yeah, and Braxton's going to pick up his third foul. And Keandre going to the line, three for four on the night. Free throw here, too strong off the back iron. And you have McLee going for it out of bounds. It'll be ruled off of McLee and out. Yeah, he just didn't realize where he was. He stepped on the end line. Bullish, I thought it would have been off of him, knocked out of bounds, but McLee tried to save it. High feed into Bullish to his right to Krisner. Krisner needs a little help again. Gets it there from Kavanaugh. Back to Rodney. 4.36 to play. Krisner another touch. Pulls it off to Keandre again here high on the right. Union Town 46, Laurel Highlands 43. Keandre working off to his left. Keandre driving, floats it up off the front of the rim. No good. Was looking for the rebound, but was found there by Notorious Grooms of Union Town. And Keandre with a great chance to get that ball back, but just couldn't corral it. Krisner got to be careful. Winfrey was acting there a little bit, like he was hit up high. Now he'll drive on the inside and finish. Galvin Winfrey with 13 in this game. Lead back up to five for Uniontown at 48 to 43. Rod back on the other side between three defenders. Got fouled there on the drive, and he'll have two free throws upcoming. That's going to be on McClee. That's going to be his third. It's going to send Rod to the line. Gallagher so far with 12 here tonight. Kind of looking for him to take this game over right now, Brian, with 3.56 to go. Lead at five at 48 to 43. Rodney first of two free throws, good. Rodney 13 in this game. Now has 1,670 career points. Mustang record held by Nick Bosnick, 1,936. Second of two, good again for Rodney. So 14 tonight for Rodney Gallagher. Mustangs back to within three again at 48 to 45. 352 left here in the fourth quarter. Calvin Winfrey back across, picked up there by Blaze Krisner. Red Raiders don't mind running a little clock. No, take your time, get a good shot, maybe get a back door, catch somebody sleeping. Grooms plays catch there with Calvin. Calvin on it's the a walk. inside. Whoa. Oh, foul on the floor here. Whoa. Wow. I don't Whoa. know about that call. Whoa. That was interesting. I thought he walked before he was fouled. That's so now Bullish it's fourth with on his Bullish, fourth. Yeah. In goes to Grooms and back out again to Calvin Winfrey here, edge of the zone. Krisner all over him. Calvin keeps it alive. Fights inside. Is that a held ball? Yes. Yes, it is. Nice job by Blaze Krisner. Krisner fortunate not to pick up his fourth foul there, but good ball. Good ball hawking to try to get that ball away from Winfrey. I mean, Uniontown's ball here off the arrow. Coach Kizmarski looking for a call there. Thought he might have been hold, held by Krisner. 3.23 to play. Uniontown stays with it. Up three at 48 to 45. Grooms again here high on the right. Watched by Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher's last loss to Uniontown came during his freshman year. Final game of the regular season of the 1920 campaign. Here's Braxton pulling it high feed. Wallace, nice save. Touched off to McLean. Pulled back out again as we go under three minutes. And in the corner, Wallace trapped trying to get out of it and got fouled. That might be it That's for That's going to do it for Bullish. Yeah, and he's going to foul out with 2.57 to go here in the fourth. Coach Hogger's bench already shorts. Gets a little shorter. It'll be Ethan Koffler to check in. Big spot here for Ethan who's hit some nice threes for Laurel Highlands this season. I'll tell you what. Big we, one up in that West Philadelphia game. Well, I'll tell you what though, Brian. We, we watched that JV game. He scored 15 straight points for the Mustangs. Wallace front end of the one and one. Good. Seven team fouls for Laurel Highlands here in the second half. Now Wallace for a second. That was his first point of the game. Makes both free throws here for Uniontown. Put the Red Raiders back up five. Surprised Wallace had not scored Tony until that point. I know, and normally for him, I mean, we see him get a lot of put-back buckets, but tonight just kind of quiet. Well, fade away. Shot from Keandre off the mark. Braxton the rebound and a jump ball called here. Good job, Ethan Koffler and Patrick Cavanaugh in front of Jameer Braxton. Mustangs get possession back, down five with 2.44 to play. Yeah, and Braxton was looking for a foul as well, but good job by Koffler defensively. Gets fed in there to Krisner. Front of there by Grooms. Hands off now to Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher driving into the lane, a lot of contact, and he got fouled. That's going to be on McClee. That's his fourth. Oh, no, they're going to call that on Braxton. He's on Braxton, wow. though, too. It 
No, well, wait a minute. Let's see what they're doing here. They posted McLee. They posted McLee, but who's it really on? And if it is on McLee, that's his fourth. Gallagher at the foul line. First of two good for Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher 15 tonight. Gallagher. Smooth at the foul line. Second of two free throws. Good again for Rodney Gallagher. He's hit four straight free throws here in the fourth quarter. Timeout on the floor will take it as well. Uniontown 50, Laurel Highlands 47, 235 to play. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Tim Dye, Fayette County Clerk, of course, extends best wishes to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, Uniontown Red Raiders, and all of our Fayette County teams for continued success this season. Tim knows it takes teamwork, the hard work of the players, coaches, and the support of their families to be successful. That is a lesson that will serve these young athletes throughout their life. Best of luck to our local teams from Fayette County Clerk of Courts, Tim Dye and family. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. The esophagus is the swallowing tube in your chest. Problems with the esophagus are common and lead to acid reflux, chest pain, and food sticking in the lower neck or chest. Doctors Ruth Hart Calabrese, Hoppy, and I specialize in diagnosing esophageal disorders and recommending effective and safe treatment. For information, call our office at 724-437-7677 or visit us at usdigestivehealth.com. You need town with the basketball, 235 to play. Red Raiders lead over Laurel Highlands, 50-47. to You need town working left to right as we describe it. As Calvin Winfrey brings it across. Fronted there by Blaze Krisner. Calvin will switch back with Notorious Grooms. Watched by Rodney Gallagher. They have Braxton coming out. And the ball handed off there to Calvin Winfrey. Winfrey, edge of the zone. Try to go into the corner. Koffler coming out, deflecting it out of play there in front of Bakari Wallace. A lot of hustle tonight from Ethan Koffler. Yeah, good try there by Koffler to try to pick up that steal, but just couldn't pull it in. Knocked out of bounds, and Wallace triggers it into Winfrey. Watch there again by Krisner. Winfrey high on the right. Oh, switch back up top with Notorious Grooms. Grooms watched by Rodney Gallagher. Torrey off to his left. It's going to be a five count. It is. Mustang basketball. Yeah. Rare mistake there from Torrey Grooms, edge of the zone. Yeah, it just took too long, and I was watching. Mike Gaffney started counting, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, he better get rid of that ball pretty quickly. But good defense there by Rod Gallagher to force the turnover. So minute 56 to go to Mustangs down three. Keandre sends it in to Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher back across. Gallagher up top for three and the tie. Off the mark. Keandre going for the rebound and Braxton able to control it. Off the little toss there from Keandre. And a lot of those shots, again, the Mustangs usually hit. They're not dropping tonight against a very talented Uniontown team. Red Raiders looking for their 13th straight win on the season. Here's Calvin Nearside dribbling all over the place. Try to go down low. Bug got deflected. Picked up by Keandre to Shields. Three on two coming back. Kicks it out to Roth. Thought about the three. Now comes baseline. He got fouled there on the drive. You know, if two free throws upcoming. With 122 left here in the fourth, Uniontown still hanging on up three at 50 to 47. That's the first foul on Notorious Grooms here tonight. So Gallagher back to the line. Gallagher with six points here in this fourth quarter. 16 for the game. Coach Gizmarski having a little chat with the referee. First of two free throws good there for Rodney, giving him 17 for the game. Red Raiders lead has trickled down to two now at 50 to 48. Second of two from Rodney on the way in good again. It's a one point game with 122 to play. And here's Notorious Grooms out of his own zone. Watch there by Rodney Gallagher. Into the corner, Bakari Wallace leads inside. Could get it to drop, follow no good. DeAndre the rebound, Mustangs an opportunity to take the lead on this possession. Great job by Kavanaugh right there to defend the baseline, go straight up and not bring his arms down and foul Bakari Wallace. So Keandre up top. Boy, if the Mustangs would manage to come back here, tell him it'd be like stealing one. Keandre left of the lane, hop step of the finish, and Laurel Highlands in the lead at 51 to 50. Timeout on the court, 47.9 left. We're back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair currently in their 59th year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Sub and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repair, and glass installation. 
They will gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they will work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Silva and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it is the goal of Ted Silva and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Family owned and operated for 59 years, call 724 437 2351 for Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair LLC. Proud to sponsor local high school sports. So here we go 51 to 50, Laurel Highlands with a little surge here in the final minutes of the fourth quarter to take a one-point lead, but you need town with the basketball. 47.9 left as Braxton sends it in notorious Grooms. Grooms across on the far side, picked up by Rodney Gallagher. Near side touch, Calvin Winfrey. Back to Notorious again. 37 seconds to play. Calvin another touch as those two switch back. Watched by Blaze Krisner. 31 seconds to play. Calvin here on the near side. Back to Torrey on the switch. Now Calvin again. How far down are they going to take it, Tone? Tell you what, I'm not so sure I'd take it down to the very end. Here's Notorious. Got around. Rod drives and a swipe. But they called the foul. Wow. Whoa. That was a pretty good looking block there by Kavanaugh. They're going to call that foul. Did they call it on Gallagher? How did that happen? That's what Rod's asking, too. He wasn't even close to the play. I mean, Groom's kind of lost his footing and everything. I can see that. I didn't think Kavanaugh really fouled him. Now they're going to a little moisture on the court here, so our buddy Harry Kaufman cleaning things up here. And again, Grooms is Uniontown's best free throw shooter at 75%. Came into the game 33 of 44. Makes two here. Uniontown's back in the lead with 19 seconds left. Remember, Laurel Highlands won a game at the buzzer against West Philadelphia on a Keandre to Shields make. Notorious first of two free throws short off the front of the rim. Well, this is the one he needs anyway, really. Just got to tie it up. I'll tell you what, Brian. <laughs> what a fantastic basketball Crowd game. Crowd on their feet. Notorious second of two free throws. Good, and we're tied at 51. And now the Mustangs an opportunity to win a tie game. Rodney will bring it across. They'll likely bring this all the way down with the game tied and go for the last shot. Rodney brings it across. And this They're whole place is standing. They're going to play on. Six seconds left. <laughs> Rodney up top for three in the lead. On the way, no good. High rebound tapped out. Controlled McLee from midcourt. Hit the support. We're headed to overtime. Tied at 51. Back with an extra session of basketball in 60 seconds here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Hello, Uniontown. Mayor Bill Gerke here. There's nothing quite like the feeling of home, that sense of belonging, fall Friday night lights, winter evenings in the gym, and spring afternoons at Bailey Park, always rooting on our Red Raiders. My hope is that our community's next generation can have similar memories, and therefore, we must plan for the future. During my first term, the city has rehabilitated Bailey Park, begun our city's first comprehensive plan in over 20 years. Started work on the city's section of the Sheepskin Trail, Worked on eliminating blight and rebuilding our neighborhoods. Updated equipment in the parking garages, and we're bringing a more reliable, faster, and less expensive internet service to city residents. We have done a lot, but there's still more to do. So I, Bill Gerke, am running for re-election. We're Uniontown proud, and together we can continue to improve Uniontown for the next generation. Paid for by Mayor Bill Gerke. Here we go, overtime tonight. You need town in Laurel Highlands. Laurel Highlands High School game tied at 51 after regulation. And they'll throw it up here again. Keandre to jump for the Mustangs. Kadrian McLee to jump for Union Town. Mike Gaffney will toss it up for the overtime session. It's controlled by Union Town to get things started. Four minutes up on the scoreboard clock. Yep. Nobody wanted to go home yet anyway, no. Brian. That's for Been sure. Too much fun tonight. Here's Keandre, a little hop step. A lot of contact down low. Ball comes loose. And it controlled there by Uniontown. Winfrey out of the pack with a touch from Grooms. And now Calvin again here high on the left. Yeah, just Watch. take your time. With Braxton setting the screen. Back to Bakari Wallace. And now Grooms again. Grooms right in the lane. Kavanaugh got a piece of that one. Off to Gallagher. 
Rodney racing right to the hoop, and they're going to call a charge. Wow. And again, Bakari Wallace able to step in there and take that charge. That's going to be the third on Rod. And Rod does not agree with it, but eh, pretty good call there by the referees. And Rodney came crashing in there. Wallace, throughout his Uniontown career, Tony, that's what he's done. That's exactly what he does. a great job taking those charges. Did it that time on Gallagher. So the game remains tied at 51 with 3.11 to play. On the far side, Braxton driving in. Charge again. The charge call there on Braxton. They're consistent, though, tonight. I would say. Well, and again, good defensive position. And Braxton they have picks up his fourth. Four. Yep. No, P and McClee both have four. Bakari Wallace has four. Bolish has already fouled out for the Mustangs. And here's Rodney Gallagher bouncing it off to Krisner. Touch from Kavanaugh out to Keandre again. Krisner on the near wing. Off to Gallagher high on the right. And now Krisner again. Touch from Keandre down low. Kavanaugh a little operating. Wow. Finish. Patrick Kavanaugh out in front. Lead it two for the Mustangs now at 53 to 51. Nice little hook there by Kavanaugh. Great job, especially in a pressure situation like this. Down low, Bakari Wallace swatted there by Keandre. <laughs> Keandre goes back the other way saying, don't bring that in here. So now we have 216 left here in overtime. Mustangs by one. And Rodney again. driving back another charge. That's Rodney's <laughs> fourth. Yeah. I tell you what, maybe hit that little pull up, a little floater in the lane. I mean, he could do that. He's just trying to take it too strong, and there's going to be a timeout. Timeout, Uniontown, 214 left in overtime. Full timeout, 53-51, Laurel Highlands. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. I'm worried about this winter weather. How are we going to get to the grocery store for the next few months? I'm not too comfortable driving in the snow anymore, and with your disability, you definitely can't drive. Yeah, the last time I went to the doctor's office, they're talking about FACT. FACT? Yeah, Fay and Eric Coordinated Transportation. FACT will come to the house and pick us up. They have fixed routes to places like Pittsburgh and Uniontown, even Nemico and Woodlands. FACT also has a shared ride program that schedules you to go to places like the doctor's office, or the grocery store. Well, you know, the grandkids will be at our house when school's canceled. Fact lets anyone ride the fixed route bus, and children under 12, accompanied by an adult, ride for free, as do us seniors age 65 and up. Wow, Fact might be the right answer for us this winter. Do you have their number? Yes, it's 724-628-RIDE or factbus.com. It's a fact, we're Fayette County, public transit. So here we go, Laurel Highlands 53, Uniontown 51, still 214 left here in overtime. Yeah. Calvin Winfrey will bring it across. Really, the Mustangs have stepped up the defense here in this overtime period. Uniontown yet to score. Contact and Keandre to Shields is going to pick up his fourth personal foul for Laurel Highlands. I think a lot of teams better hope that they don't go two overtimes because <laughs> might not have enough players. No, it's Steve Rodney and Keandre <laughs> with four. Bullish has already fouled out. McLee with four. Wallace with four. Braxton with four on the Uniontown side. And Braxton here at the foul line. He's 66% for the season, shooting two here. First of two up on the way and no good. Uni that was his first attempt of the night. Yep, Uniontown eight for 13 from the line here tonight. Now Braxton, a second of two, up on the way, and no good again. Same team there on the rebound, and Keandre able to finally corral it in, and the Mustangs have to watch those drive-ins. You look back at Keandre and Rodney's fouls tonight, I think the majority have been charges. Right. That one's going to roll out of bounds off of Kadrian McLean and outs. Yeah. I think you're more safe if you're going to keep those guys in the game with the outside shots at this juncture of the game, especially up two as the Mustangs are right now. Well, surprisingly, I mean, Rod picked up two offensive fouls here in this overtime, and that's unlike him, but good defense. Ah, uh, bad pass. Goes out of bounds Koffler. over to Uniontown. Yeah, Koffler and the Shields. little miscommunication there. Big break here for Uniontown. Akari Wallace sends it into Calvin Winfrey and out Torius Grooms. 143 to play. Grooms barking out of play up top. Near side to Calvin. Galvanel backs off here high on the right. 
90 seconds left here in overtime. We'll switch back to Grooms again, watched by Gallagher. McLee setting up the screen. Grooms to cutting Bakari Wallace. Got blocked again by Kavanaugh. Kept alive on the backside. And Calvin Winfrey on his back through the foul. That is the first foul tonight on Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh has played a solid game. He has for played a tonight. fantastic game for the Mustangs tonight. Done a really good job, but I just hard to believe with all the fouls we've had that that's his first foul tonight. And he's played great defense. Totally agree with you. A lot of good blocks, a lot of good putbacks. First of two free throws. No, oh, good. What a bounce from Calvin Winfrey. Got it to drop. <laughs> Well, and you said he came in only a 59% free throw shooter. Now That's the lead to one. This one to tie it. This one rattles out. And another rebound from Kavanaugh. Has played terrific again tonight for Laurel Highland. So the Mustangs with the basketball at 53-52. to 111 left here in the first overtime. Here's Rodney high on the right. Watch there by Kadrian McLee. Got to watch the five count. He's going to work off to his left and forward to get the count moving here again. Rodney again. Edge of the zone, double team now comes out, grooms to help. Over to Keandre, right in front of the near boundary. Now Rodney again up top. Rodney between defenders, pulls it back out. Mustangs don't mind running a little clock now with a one-point lead. Just play catch. Keandre again up top. Even a lot of these Red Raiders can't foul right now. Now Rodney gets tripped up. Yeah, and it's going to be McLee fouling out. That'll be it. Or no, it's going to be Braxton. Well, Braxton will foul out then. Didn't matter, both had four. So Braxton fouls out with 41 seconds left here in overtime. Likely get Levi Gardner. Now it's going to be Tanner Uphold off the Uniontown bench to check in. Braxton going to finish with nine points on the night. You know, Gallagher looking for his first points here in overtime, heading to the foul line. In fact, just had the one field goal from Kavanaugh. The made free throw from Winfrey have been the only scoring here in overtime so far. That's exactly right. Now Rodney, first of two free throws, short out the front of the rim. Wow. Rare miss for Rodney, especially in a clutch situation. He was 7-for-7 seven seven from the line here prior to that miss. Again, the scoreboard says fourth quarter. We're in overtime. We're tied into the scoreboard down below as Rodney makes the second free throw. So it's a two-point lead for Laurel Highlands, 19 for Rodney. Timeout on the court will take it as well. Full timeout, 54-52 Mustangs. We're back at 60 here on the CR Parada Group, High School Sports Night. Casey Sports Cafe, owned and operated by the Vernon family and located at 243 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown, is announcing they will have new evening hours. New hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come in to Casey Sports Cafe and check out the new menu items and entrees. Casey's can also cater your next event. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Casey's is the place to eat. Phone 724-550-4126. 4126 for Casey Sports Cafe. Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Berry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Berry is located at 84 East Main Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vince T. Berry. It will be the only call you need to make. Call 724-430-0300. That's 724-430-0300. Laura Highlands, a 54-52 lead over Uniontown as we work here in overtime. 41.5 left here in the first overtime. Uniontown will have the basketball as Tanner Uphold will send it in. Jameer Braxton has fouled out on the Uniontown side. Mason Bullish has fouled out on the Laura Highlands side. So the Red Raiders down two with the basketball working left to right as we describe it. Calvin Winfrey up top. Winfrey with the seam. He'll float it up. And in. Calvin Winfrey got a little bounce off the rim before that one dropped. And once again, we're tied here at 54. Mustangs, another opportunity here for the last shot. Yeah, Winfrey with all three of the points in overtime for the Red Raiders. DeAndre here high on the left. 18 seconds left in the first overtime. Timeout, Laurel High. We'll step aside for a quick 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Quality care doesn't have to be hard to find. NovaCare Rehabilitation has locations in Uniontown and Masontown and is accessible for all of your recovery needs. Same day appointments and no referral needed means making an appointment is an easy process. Industry leading treatments, including LBST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks, are available at both locations. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. Don't miss the opportunity to personalize your care with NovaCare. 
Back here at Laurel Highlands High Schools. Here we go, Tone. Game tied at 54, 16.6. Left here in this first overtime. Mustangs will have the basketball. Well, what do you do here out of the timeout? <coughs> well, you've got to imagine it's either going to be in number one or number two's hands one way or the other. To be honest with you, <laughs> I might give it to the Shields only because Keandre is probably, uh, Kadrian McLeese is probably going to be guarding him. He's got to be careful because he's got four fouls if in case we would go to a second overtime. But, you know, we've seen Rod slash to the basket a number of times too. All hands on deck, though, at this yeah. juncture of the game. Every bit of. 16.6 <laughs> seconds left. You've been buckling up all night. Now the Mustangs an opportunity to win it here at the end of the first overtime. They had a chance at the end of regulation. Missed an opportunity, and now get a little reprieve here. But Blaze Krisner to trigger it in. Notorious Grooms fronting Blaze, now he'll back off, and Blaze will send it into Keandre. So Keandre, edge of the zone, watched there by Kadrian McLee. Keandre yeah. high on the right, 10 seconds to play. Keandre barks out of play. Clear Keandre out for with him. seven seconds left. Keandre driving. Keandre, a little fade away from the foul line, no good. Ball loose underneath. Mustangs looking for time will expire here in the first overtime, and we'll head to a second overtime with the Red Raider down on the court. Bakari Wallace is hurt. So Wallace went down hard. While he gets attended to, we'll step aside for a 60-second timeout, then be back for the second overtime. Tied at 54 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Going on now, we the Chevrolet. Get a new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Only $99 per month. Stop in for a test drive or visit CHarperChevy.com. Chevrolet. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, and good to see Bakari Wallace trying to hop to his feet there, Tom, but he's not putting any pressure, though, on that left ankle, so maybe not as good as we initially thought. News for you, you also have Rod Gallagher limped off the court a little bit, too. Looked like he was either favoring that right knee or right ankle a little bit. He's sitting on the bench, can't really tell, but Wallace not putting any weight at all on that. So not a good sign. That's a huge loss for the Red Raiders. Let's see what Coach Kizmarski is going to put in now for the replacement. You're likely going to have to go here now to Levi Gardner off the Uniontown bench to start the second overtime. Again, tied at 54. You folks on the radio side that might have just rejoined us, Bakari Wallace hobbling off for the Red Raiders. This will be the second overtime. And for whatever reason, they can't correct the scoreboard down below. I don't understand, Tony, to show it's the sixth quarter in the second overtime. So you might see on your <laughs> scoreboard showing fourth, it's the second overtime. Game tied at 54. And here we go again. We'll toss it up. This time it'll be Levi Gardner to jump for Uniontown with Jameer Braxton already had fouled out. And Keandre to jump again for Laurel Highlands. Again, both Keandre and Rodney have four personal fouls. Yeah, and we saw Braxton and Bullish foul out. As we said, McClee, Wallace now with the ankle injury, but he had four fouls. And Laurel Highlands will get the basketball to start the second overtime. Here's Keandre on the near side. Touched again from Kavanaugh. Sends it off to Koffler, a little juggle, then a regain. Now Keandre again here on the near side, spinning in, repositions and pulls it up. Shot attempt, no good. Kadri no. McClure the rebound. Not, not got, a good foul. And that's going to be it for Keandre. Wow. So Keandre fouls out. He was trying to get the jump ball called, but he fouls out with 340 left here in double overtime, and that hurts if you're Laura Highlands. 340 fouls out with 19 points, and as you said, Brian, we worried about the foul trouble. We didn't think it would go into the second overtime. But the Shields is going to foul out now. 3.40 to go. Now you want to be aggressive in that situation, but should have just backed off there, especially with so much time left here in the second overtime. Almost like a frustration foul that he couldn't get that shot to go. Now McLee at the free throw line on the other side. Misses on the first of two. Unitown, 9 of 15 from the line here tonight. McLee, second of two. No good again. Ball goes out of bounds over to Laurel Highland. So some big, big missed free throws here down the stretch on the Uniontown side. Another timeout, another full timeout. 
340 left here in double overtime, tied at 54. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Hello, this is your Fayette County Commissioner, Vince Facidi. There is nothing more exciting than high school sports. As a graduate of Laura Highlands and a letterman myself, I know all the athletes work extra hard to be competitive, plus maintain their study skills. Again, this is Commissioner Vince Facides saluting all the young contestants for their efforts. Good luck and may the best team prevail. And the winner is... Amadar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel to school in the Fayette County area for more than three years. MNR Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highland School basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information, call 724-439-3164. That's 724-439-3164. Or stop into their office at MNR Transit, 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School. So the Mustangs the rest of the way without Keandre to Shields and Mason Bullish. They both fouled out. Jameer Braxton fouling out on the Uniontown side. Bakari Wallace out with an injury. Might be who you have available here late, Tony. As Ethan Koffer sends it off to Rodney Gallagher. Only three points scored on each side in that first overtime. Now the Mustangs with it here to start the second overtime. Plays Krisner. Watched there by Tanner Uphold. And here's Krisner. Try to bounce it off. Now the ball was kicked. Goes into the backcourt, and Rodney throws it off the head <laughs> of Calvin Winfrey. They're going to say Rodney was out of bounds. Yeah, but it hit Rodney as it came back on. So the Red Raiders able to gain possession. Tie game, 320 to go here. Good opportunity for Notorious Grooms maybe to take things on here for the Uniontown side. Try to come inside and make Lee. Got poked away, and Shane Layton out of the pack with it there for the Mustang. Just rolls it off to Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher back across, pulls up, foul and extend on the right, jumper off the front of the rim, no good. Cavan offensive rebound, back to Rod, got tripped up. Driving that time, he'll head to the line to shoot two. And again, Cavanaugh with another rebound underneath. Good game. That foul went on uphold just his second. And that doesn't hurt you if you're Union Sound, aside from the fact that you've yielded two free throw attempts here to Rodney with 3.02 left in the second overtime. Oh, and Rod. First of two free throws, good for Rodney to give Laurel Highlands a one-point lead. 20 points tonight for Rodney Gallagher. Well, he's the high man on both teams. Now Rodney for a second. Up on the way and good again. 21 for Rodney Gallagher. Two-point lead for the Mustangs at 56 to 54. 257 left here in the second overtime. There's Calvin Winfrey, edge of the zone, watched there by Krisner. Winfrey up top. Pulls it out there to Levi Gardner. Now back to Calvin again as Grooms came out to set the screen. Now has the basketball here on the near side. Grooms watched by Rodney Gallagher. Grooms working off to his left. Sends it off to Calvin again. Those two play catch. Notorious resets high on the left. Timeout Uniontown. Red Raiders take a timeout with 2.34 left here in the second overtime. This will be a 30-second timeout. We're back at 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family-owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School. Laurel Highlands a 56-54 lead over Uniontown here in double overtime. And Tony, I don't recall a Uniontown Laurel Highlands game like this over the years, especially going a couple of extra sessions. Well, Brian, I'm old. And I can tell you that I remember in 1980 or 81, somewhere in there, Uniontown and LH played three overtimes. Okay. Uniontown won by two. Might be headed that way again tonight. Yep. I can, uh, but that'll tell you something because I was just out of high school then, so. You weren't even probably trotting around, were you? I was born in 78, so oh, okay. I was a couple years old at the time. Yeah, you weren't watching the game then. No. I'll pull to send it in from the far side here for the Red Raiders. Back to Notorious Grooms. 2.32 left here in the second overtime. Near side, Winfrey, jumper near baseline, got fouled. And that's going to be Krisner, and that's going to be his fourth. And Winfrey, one of the better free throw shooters for Uniontown, maybe not, 59%. Well, he's had a few chances here, no doubt. 
so far tonight, I have him at three for five. First of two here up on the way, and again, no good. 16 points scored tonight by Calvin Winfrey, but Uniontown down two, needing some free throws here in the second overtime. Uniontown only one for seven from the foul line in these overtime periods. And that's been the difference in the game right now. Second of two from Calvin, again, no good. Rebound, a little fight for it. We're going to jump ball call. We'll go back to the possession arrow. It favors Uniontown. Yeah, McClee tried for another put back there. Tried to grab another offensive rebound. Leighton with a good job trying to tie it up. So unfortunately, the Mustangs not able to come out of there with it. Here's the Red Raiders triggering it in. Uphold feeds into McLee. McLee fighting, got partially blocked, but Garner with the fall of Levi Garner. First two of the game coming here in the second overtime to knock things up at 56. Here's Krisner back on the other side, inside to Kavanaugh. Feeds it down low, Leighton goes down, back up, couldn't finish out in front. Uphold a big rebound in traffic there for Uniontown. Now the Red Raiders in control a bit. Game tied at 56. They have the basketball under two minutes left here in the second overtime. Each team with two timeouts remaining. Winfrey off to Grooms. Watch there by Gallagher. Grooms coming near baseline, driving, handing off. Gardner again. Two big buckets here in double overtime for Levi Gardner. And Uniontown goes up two at 58 to 56. Yeah, came off the bench and look at the job he's doing. Great job by Gardner and a great pass by Grooms to find him wide open for that layup. Gallagher high feed brought down there from Prisoner. Again, Keandre has fouled out on the Laurel Highland side. Mustangs take a timeout. This will be a full timeout, 126 to play. 58-56, Union Tower back at 60. Here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports tonight. Movement Physiotherapy is here to serve you. Now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, Movement Physiotherapy treats back issues, knee and ankle pain, shoulder, hip, neck, and balance issues, and provides post-surgical rehab. Using aquatic therapy, manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, soft tissue massage, electrical stimulation, running analysis, and balance programs, Tyler Gasek and his team are ready to improve your health with physical therapy. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back here at Laurel Highland High School, 58-56 Uniontown, second overtime. Red Raiders lead by two. Laurel Highlands with the basketball. A couple of big makes off the Uniontown bench from Levi Gardner. Mustangs with the basketball. Rodney Gallagher with it right now. And Gallagher just one made three tonight. Came into the game 26 made threes for the season. Mason, or check that. Ethan Koffler was in a little trouble. Got out of it. Near side prisoner. Back to Koffler. Swung over to Gallagher. Now Gallagher coming inside. Driving. Putting it up and getting fouled again. And that could be on that's going to be on McClee, and that's going to be his fifth. Wow. So now he's going to foul out. 107 to go here in his second overtime. He fouls out with 15 points in this game. With 107 left here in the second overtime. Tell you what, he, he played a great game for the Red Raiders, no doubt. 11 points in that second quarter and really carried him to that halftime lead. So Rodney, two free throws here to tie the game. Wiping up a little moisture on the court again. I'll tell you what, the Uniontown fans appreciative of McLee's efforts here tonight, giving him played a standing a ovation. Yeah, he played a great game. Huge second quarter. Really turned the game around for Uniontown with 11 second quarter points. Now you'll have Rodney here at the foul line again for Laurel Highlands. Rodney 19 tonight for the Mustangs and puts the first of two free throws out the front of the rim. No good. Unusual for Rod, especially in these situations. Mustang still down two. One free throw up coming here for Gallagher. It's up on the way, and again, no good. Wow. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Uniontown basketball. Last touch by Laurel Highlands going out. So rare to see Gallagher miss two at the foul line. Now you're going to get Mikey Bittner checking in here on the Laurel Highlands side. Well, you're going to... Oh, he's going to take late now? That's interesting. 
maybe to give a foul. But I don't know why you'd take the big out at this point in time. I mean, Leighton with the size underneath. Here's Winfrey bringing it back across for Uniontown. Pulls back to Notorious Grooms high on the left. Near side switch back to Tavian Richardson and deflected. Stolen by Blaze Krisner. Krisner races back and what a swat by Calvin Winfrey. <laughs> Great block. Krisner tried to get a little too fancy with it. Might have taken it strong. Could have got it to go and maybe the foul, but great block by Winfrey. Boy, these guys stepped up. Big time atmosphere, and the players on both sides, no matter who wins tonight, they brought it for sure this evening. Every Krisner high on the right. Yep, everything we expected, Brian. Sends it off to Koffler, and now Krisner again. Krisner in the corner now to Schwartzfeger. Down to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh out in front. A foul called here on Uniontown. Might have got away with a little walk there. <laughs> kind of hung it up on his hip a little bit. Foul but go on Tanner Uphold. And that's going to be Uphold's third. But that's going to send Kavanaugh to the line. Kavanaugh, eight points here tonight. For the season, 57% from the foul line. 37.3 left here in the second overtime. And Kavanaugh misses the first of two free throws. Now Laura Highlands, they've missed. Three straight free throws, two from Gallagher, now one from Kavanaugh. Overtime has not been good to the foul shooters here so far. On both sides. Right. Now Kavanaugh for a second. This one is good, so it's a one-point game, nine tonight for Kavanaugh. Uniontown with the basketball. Now the Mustangs might have to come out here and foul. Winfrey bringing it across. 29 seconds left here in the second overtime. Over to Grooms, deflected by Gallagher, and it'll stay Uniontown basketball here in the Laurel Highland zone with 26 seconds left here in the second overtime. Yeah, and a good trap right there. Uniontown has two timeouts left. So Notorious, even if you got trapped over there, able to call timeout, but. Send it back into the backcourt here and Grooms with Prisoner coming over. Rod can't foul, he has four fouls. Up to Uphold, and now they're gonna go after Uphold. No fouls called there, we play on. And now you have Bittner fouling Winfrey. Almost launched it in. <laughs> well, the thing of it is, Krisner wanted a foul, but he's got three. Actually, he's got four here tonight. I was going to say he didn't want to pick up that fifth. So Bittner just commits his first. You'll have Calvin Winfrey, who missed his last three free throws. Head to the foul line here for Uniontown. Red Raiders up only one at 58 to 57. 14.8 left here in the second overtime. First of two free throws. Good for Calvin Winfrey to give him 17 points for the game. Yeah, Winfrey. Big make there. He had missed his last three. And made that foul shot to give him a two-point lead. Now Winfrey for a second to make the lead a three for Uniontown. It's on the way and good. So Winfrey increasing the Uniontown lead to three. Timeout Uniontown. 60-57 Red Raiders, 14.8 left here in the second overtime. We'll step aside for a quick 30 here on the Sierra Prada Group High School Sports Night. I'm attorney Trip Radcliffe of Radcliffe Law. I've practiced law in Fayette County for over 40 years. The success of our firm is the result of our clients trusting us to make the best decisions on their behalf when they're injured in an accident. We tell our clients, you get yourself better, we will deal with the rest. If you've been hurt in an accident, call us today to set up a free consultation, 724-439-3939. We have Saturday appointments for your convenience. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School. Laurel Highlands down three with the basketball in the final 30 seconds here, Tony, of the second overtime. Brian, I don't, I'll tell you this much. I don't want to see this game end, but no. you know the best part is they play again. Yes, in February. <laughs> I mean, you could have the Mustangs hit a three here, and we're playing triple overtime. You never know. Uh, you don't know. And that, that would not be out of the realm of possibility, that's for sure. The Mustangs tonight, Tony, have not hit a three in the second half or any of the overtimes. Nope. Only made three threes the whole game, and all in the first half. As we said, Gallagher, Krisner, and Bolish. And only three threes on the Unitown side as well. The Krisner sends it in to Koffler, back to Krisner. 11 seconds left. Mustangs down three here in the second overtime. Over to Gallagher. Rodney up top. Rodney from the near wing looking for the tie off the mark. Uphold the rebound. He gets fouled with 2.2 left. And the Uniontown Red Raiders on the verge of knocking off Laurel Highlands here on the road. And now you can hear it from the Red Raider faithful. Well. 
Obviously, somebody's got to go home disappointed, but what a fantastic basketball game all these fans saw and all the people watching at home. Apollo least needs to hit one or two here, though. Tony will completely ice it. You have 2.2 left. Last foul went on Kavanaugh just a second. Uphold first of two free throws, no good. So not done yet. The Red Raiders now have got him at 12 for 23. Uphold second free throw on the way and good, and that'll do it. Uphold with the make. They send it into Gallagher, got deflected out by Grooms. They have zero up on the clock. The officials are saying it's not over. Officials are saying the game is not over yet. They're playing the music, but the game is not over yet. <laughs> Telling everybody get off the court and let's go. Should be about two seconds left on the clock. And it should be 61-57. They did not put that up on the scoreboard either. Correct. It's Mustang basketball. They need to reset the clock. They need to reset the clock and need to set the score. Koffler will send it in. Now they put 14 seconds on the clock, and that's not right either. <laughs> Coach Hogger could hope so. <laughs> it's 61-57 Union Town. Now they got it right. Koffler to send it in, 1.4 left on the clock. Sends it in to Krisner, and Krisner from midcourt. Shot no good, and they're up with the town tonight. 61-57, Uniontown downs Laurel Highlands in a double overtime thriller. We're back to tell you all about it on our post-game show. Brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon. Comes your way next year on WMBS and Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paint with death repairs, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. Garrett Breaker has been a business owner and doctor in the Uniontown community for 38 years. He's actively involved in the community, served as team chiropractor for the Laurel Highland School District, and was inducted into the Laurel Highland Life Achievement Hall of Fame. Dr. Brickline is also chairman of the Fayette County Regular Republican, and wants to continue to make a difference in the community. And he'll be running for a South Union Township Supervisor in the May 2023 primary. Good luck to the Laurel Highland Mustangs from Dr. Garrett Brickline. Planning a sports fundraiser? B Graphics makes it easy. B Graphics will set up an online store with hats, t-shirts, hoodies, and other gear with your team and school logo. Ordering, shipping, payment, B Graphics handles 